Hey guys, and welcome to the Two Minute Money Manager. I'm your host, Stacey Johnson, and this answer is brought to you by MoneyTalksNews.com, serving up the best in personal finance news and advice since 1991. Today's question came to us from Brian. Brian says, I've got an umbrella policy which covers the inadequacies of my homeowners and auto insurance policies, but am I wasting money by buying more than the bare minimum auto insurance, expecting the umbrella policy to kick in if a settlement goes beyond the limits of that policy? Now, that probably sounded like a whole bunch of nonsense to you guys, didn't it? But let me explain. I'm going to explain to Brian, and we're going to talk about what umbrella insurance is. First, we're going to define it, and we're going to talk about who needs a policy and how it works, okay? What's umbrella insurance? Umbrella insurance does exactly what its name implies. It offers protection above and beyond the insurance that you already have. So it's an extra layer of liability insurance, a supplement to your existing home and car policies. And for those who don't recall, what's liability insurance do? It pays people you accidentally hurt. So think of your existing car and home policies as a raincoat. That umbrella policy is to cover you even more. Okay, does that make sense? Next, do you need an umbrella policy? For most people, the answer is no, because your car and home policies are enough. So who does need an umbrella policy? Who needs a sex of protection? Typically, it's rich people. The minimum umbrella policy is usually a million bucks. So unless you're a high net worth individual, you probably don't need that extra protection that your car and existing home policies will probably do the job for you. Remember, umbrella policies kick in after your other insurance, like your car or home coverage, is all used up. They might also cover things your existing policies don't cover, like maybe libel or slander, stuff like that. But here's a typical example of, a, of a, where an umbrella policy would kick in. Let's say you've got a Doberman and it bites one of your party guests and they sue you for a million bucks. Well, you've got a homeowner's policy, but the liability for, on that policy tops out at 500000 In this case, your home policy would pay the five hundred. dollars Your umbrella policy would pay the remaining 500000 because the umbrella policy is, is supplemental. So that's how umbrella policies work, and that's whether you need them. Uh, that's who needs them. Generally speaking, you probably won't. But now let's answer Gary's question now that we know a little bit more about umbrella policies. Gary asked, why don't I have really super low liability on my car and home, thus saving money, and count, and count on my umbrella policy to cover that, that problem, or, or you know, that, that gap? And that way he'd save money on his car and home, help him pay for the umbrella policy. The problem with that, Gary, is it won't work. Because what's going to happen is the people selling you that umbrella policy, they're going to require you to have uh, a minimum amount of, of both you know, car and home insurance before they even issue that policy. They won't sell it to you if you don't have like 300000 Generally, that's the minimum, 300000 of both your car and your home. So you have to see what their restrictions are. So it's a good idea. Maybe you could save some money by lowering your car and home policies and, and counting on that umbrella to, to uh, make up the difference. But it probably won't work. Now, by the way, if any of this has made you interested in umbrella policy, you'll also find that they're not very expensive. According to the Insurance Information Institute, you can pick one of these policies up between 150 and 300 bucks a year. It's not that expensive because they very rarely come into play. Gary, I hope that answers your question. I hope, some, I hope you guys learned a little bit about umbrella insurance as well. And if you've got a question of your own, well, ask it. All you have to do is hit reply to our email newsletter ask your question. I don't have time to answer all of them, but you might have your question answered. And if you're not if you're not already subscribed to our newsletter, you need to fix that right now, guys. Go to moneytalksnews.com. It takes you less than five seconds to subscribe to the newsletter. It doesn't cost a dime, and it's going to make you richer. <laughs> I'm Stacy Johnson. I'm going to see you all right here next time.